What's going on everyone? This is Chris Macro from the SpreadsheetGuru.com. Today I just wanted to discuss a little bit about a tutorial I put on the website um, dealing with filtering Excel data in PowerPoint. And what I wanted to talk about was how to determine all the names that you have to input into the VBA code I supplied in the blog post. So first let's jump into PowerPoint. And there's two names that we are concerned about. One is the combo box name. And to insert a combo box, you go over to the developer tab and you click this combo box icon. And then you can just draw it whatever size you want on your slide. And to figure out its name, you have that combo box highlighted and you click this properties button right here. And you'll see in the name field, it'll give it a name. And this is the name that you want to uh, add to your VBA code when you're referencing the PowerPoint combo box. The other name you need to uh, discover and put in the VBA code is this picture name right here. A way to figure out its name is you go to the home tab hit select and then open up the selection pane. You'll see if you click on each one of these names it highlights an object on the slide. The picture that I'm using to filter the data I named sales data. and You can change that name by just double clicking on the name and typing in whatever you want. But whatever this picture is called you're going to want to reference that name in your VBA code. So let's hop over to Excel now and the two names you need to input into the VBA code is the worksheet name which is pretty self-explanatory it's whatever is displayed on the tab that's storing your data and also you need the table name. Now this table name if you click in the table, you'll see this table tools tab and clicking on that tab you'll see the table name right in the first section on the left. So you can click into there, you could make that um, a name that maybe represents your data better and just make sure once you finish typing the name that you click the enter key or else it will revert back to the previous name if you just click off of it. So make sure you have the worksheet name and the table name uh, referenced properly in the VBA code. And the last thing we need to do is uh, tell the code where to go out and find this Excel file. So the easiest way to do that is to open up a Explorer window and navigate to the folder where the file is stored. Um, so I have my file stored in this testing folder. And to get that file path, all you have to do is click in this little field right here, and then you can copy that path. And that's pretty much all there is to it um, in terms of all the names that you need to adjust or you may need to adjust in the VBA code. Uh, check out the blog post. It's a, it's a really cool feature uh, in terms of integrating Excel with PowerPoint. And if you have any questions, be sure to leave a, a comment in the comment section.